When your form in Office 365 is complete and you're ready to make it available to your students or whoever you're going to be sending it to, all you need to do is come over to the upper right hand side where it says send form and you'll see a bunch of different options, different methods that you can send this form or embed this form. Um, for this video I'm just going to show you the really quick and easy way and in future videos I'll show you some of the other options that you have available to you where you can make some changes and set some restrictions on this. So you're going to see the very first option over here it says copy and paste the link. So a link is automatically generated for your form so all you need to do is click copy. You're going to notice down here at the bottom who can fill out this form. By default it says only people in my organization record the names of responders. So this means when you post this link to your students or send it to your students they will be prompted to log in with their Office 365 account. In general you are going to want them to do this because this is going to record their answers and associate it with their name. If you take that off and leave it to anyone with a link and sign in, um, you're not going to know who actually submitted which answers. Now you could choose and add a question to your form and require the students to type in their names, but of course you don't necessarily know they're going to put in their correct name. They could be putting in SpongeBob SquarePants for all you know. So you may want to keep this on here. So for this video here, we're just going to go through this process where we're just going to copy this link and leave all the other options as is, and then you will paste it and you will be able to put it into either your OneNote class notebook, into Edmodo, however you would normally send digital links to your students, that's where you're going to put that link.